Oh, Nicky Hawkins uh, just coming outside the uh, St. James's Park uh, West Ham Fan TV instant match reaction um, to what I've just seen. Um, I, words, words of I, I, I'm lost for words. I'll be honest, I'm lost for words. Um, that is the, the, the definition of, of snatching defeat from the jaws of victory. We was totally in control. We was out playing Newcastle. Newcastle had no answers. They had player after player after player going down. Um, and then inexplicably, the manager decides to change what we was doing and what was working. Um, I haven't seen both VAR decisions yet. Um, I feel like that was a little bit harsh. Um, there was also one where Kudus went through on goal and uh, he was wiped out. After doing good work, going around three or four players, it was it was it was teared up to be one of the the same as the Freiburg goal, um, and the ref didn't give it. VAR um, didn't look at it. Um, I forgot about that. But yeah, it's, it, it's, it's look. I'm, I, you can come up with all the excuses in the world. I thought the referee was poor today. Um, not just poor for us I thought it was poor for them at times as well um, didn't control the game well uh, let too much go was 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 too petty I even think like you know even at the end like, and I, 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 I'm trying not to be biased but the Anthony Gordon thing when he got sent off um, I thought that was a little bit harsh because I've seen players lump the ball into the stand and not get booked for a second booking um, no consistency. That's the problem, you know. But you know, by letter of the law, that should be a booking. But there's people getting away with it, so they, you know, they're going to be quite within their rights to, you know, to, <laughs> to, to argue about what's going on there. But that defeat, I'm afraid, and I, I you know, I, I was so ready to give him praise at the end of the game. You know, what I mean, when we three one up, I was thinking if we come out of here three one four one up. Um, as winners, which have, uh, you know, I, I've I'm, I've got no doubt if he kept it the same system, I think we would have won four five one today. You know, I think we was we was tearing Newcastle to pieces. We had an outlet. Um, the attacking players were were dazzling the defenders, but he changes it, and he changes it for the worse. And I've. I've This is why I, I, I can't stand to watch it anymore. Because he's naturally an introvert. He's naturally an introvert. Even though, right, and this is this is the criticism that I've had of him time and time and time again. You know, he tries the same things over and over and they don't work. And he just keeps on doing it. Calvin Phillips has been nothing but bad for this club. And I mean that with the greatest respect to Calvin Phillips. I don't think it's Calvin Phillips' fault at times. But he's been nothing but bad. Every time he comes on, he does something that changes the game for the worse. You know, red cards, giving away balls, giving away penalties. That's the second penalty he's given away this season. He's only been here since January. It's only March. You know. But Moyes will just continuously use him. Because... He, 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 he's like he looks at him and thinks, well, he, he can't do it again. It can't happen again. It does happen again, Dave. This is the problem. It does happen again. It happens again and again and again. And it, I've said this so many times. The definition of insanity is doing the same thing over and over and over again um, with proven results and, 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 and expecting something different to happen. That is mad what he's done in there. We was in control. They had no answer. We every time we got they, they you know we got the ball off them. We was defending brilliantly. It was perfectly balanced. Look, I know Antonio might not have ninety minutes in him, but it didn't look like it was puffing, huffing and puffing to me. It wasn't like Newcastle were just barraging us after, with attack after attack after attack. We were still on the front foot for a lot of it. Yeah, they was coming forward, but that was giving us a chance with our four. Well, listen, the, the team was perfectly balanced the way he set it up. Perfectly balanced. Kudus was running the show. Pakatar was taking the piss. Listen, Pakatar got, uh, you know, battered around today. But he was taking a piss. You know, Bowen struggled at the fight, his, find his feet um, at first. But in the second half, he was, it, you know, it, it was perfectly balanced. With that four in attack, with that trust in the attack, it's perfectly balanced. And the problem is with him, is you go 3-1 up. 3-1, not 3-0, not 3-1 up. 
and his natural uh, ability to suck all of the confidence out of it. And as soon as they got that penalty, listen, as I said before, I'm not going to mention about whether, it, whether or not it was a penalty. Um, I haven't seen the VAR decisions. Listen, I thought it was very harsh. I think that you got to, you know, if you're going to talk about, you know, natural positions of body positions when you're talking about penalties, like, oh, if it comes off your head and it hits your hand, you know, there's not much you can do about that. If you strike, if, you, if you're halfway through striking a ball and a geezer shoves his leg in front of you, what the fuck can you do about that? You know, it's a natural progression. It's not like a foul um, where, you know, he's gone to take the man. He's kicking the football. You know, listen, Balbuena had a, a similar thing down at Chelsea um, when he got a red card. But then his natural ability to just suck everything out of the team, to try and, you know, and this is the ironic thing, try to go defensive, but in trying to go defensive, opens us up to attack. It's, it's madness. Like, you got to think. Like a lot of people say, the best form of defence is attack. You know, they was they were struggling with us. You know, they wasn't being able to commit players forward because they was worried about you know the four pronged attack. You know, the the four coming because it was effective, it was potent, it was working, <clears throat> and they, and they was worried about it. As soon as you take off Antonio, go with the three in attack and put three defensive midfielders, they they stop having to worry about it because. They was just outnumbering us, getting the ball back off of us and coming forward over and over and over again. And as soon as that 3-2 went in, well, actually, as soon as the 3-3 went in, I said to the kid next to me, I said, we're going to lose this. Because you could see it. And that is the problem with it. Calvin Phillips knocked the balance of the team off. Listen, why are you trying to shoe on him in? These were the two, I think this one... And the, and the Tottenham game were the two defining games. We've thrown away too many points against too many fucking shit teams. You know, by making mistakes. You know, by making mistakes in um, uh, and not going and, and, and going for the win, going to you know to, to you know take all three points by force. You know, we're trying to hang on for three points. You know, we fucked it against Burnley by not starting well. We fucked it against Sheffield United by not keep on going uh, and attacking. Today we've done exactly the same thing, and this for me is the now in the coffin for David Moyes. They've just re released. Um, season ticket prices, you know, this result couldn't have come at a worse time, and the way we collapsed couldn't have come at a worse time for the ball because people are going to be looking at it now and saying, "Listen, I'm not fucking committing my money in watching this shite when I don't know who's going to be in charge next season." So I want to, you know, a lot of people, are, you know, are entitled to turn around and go, "I've had enough of this. I've had enough of this shite." Yeah. So before I make a decision, I want to know who's in charge. Absolute fucking disgrace. <laughs> yeah, there we go. Look, I've just said it was 50... Uh, defensive, dem, look, defensively um, minded manager um, conceded 54 goals, only three teams, which is Luton, Burnley and Sheffield United have conceded more. A defensively minded manager, you know? If you're going to concede goals like that, you're just going to have to out attack, which we have, the, we have the power to. Lack of January signings yeah, in in, subs, in, in attack in attack, uh, the substitutes. You know, even when we went for, I think it was four three when he brought Johnson on. Eddings, um, Johnson. Um, you know, if you go four three down and you've got five minutes left, why even bother bringing Ben Johnson on? Don't really know. Don't really know where he comes from. And then it took him another three minutes to get Ings on. At three one, people are calling for Danny Ings. Maybe they, you know, they see him sort of tam tampering with a, uh, tinkering with a, with, with a thought of bringing on a substitute. And what did they do? Brought on Calvin Phillips. People were singing Danny Ings, Danny Ings, Danny Ings. Listen, Danny Ings, <laughs> again, like, I don't know what the geezer has to do. You know, the, 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 the system was working. Why do you have to tinker with the system? And this is why he's such a dinosaur. And this is why I've had enough of him. This is why I don't want to see this football anymore. I just get all these people, like Jeff Stelling, all the people in the DR Sports Studios, questioning me, what do you want? What do you want? Well, I don't want to be throwing away leads like this. Over and over again, conceding 54 fucking goals in the season. Over and over again. That's what I don't want. Look, you're entitled to say what you want, but that is what I don't want. I can't stand it anymore. But there we go. Tell me what you think in the comment section down below, but one thing left to say, come on you ones.